Hello all. So today we will see the Hyper-V role installation on Windows Server. Before we start up with that, we will see Hyper-V technology overview. So Hyper-V is Microsoft's hardware virtualization product. It lets you create and run software version of a computer called virtual machine. Each virtual machine act like a complete computer running an operating system and programs. When you need computing resources, virtual machines gives you more flexibility, help save time and money and a more efficient way to use a hardware than just running an operating system on a physical hardware. Hyper-V run each virtual machine in its own isolated space, which means you can run more than one virtual machine on the same hardware at the same time. You might want to do this to avoid problems such as crash affecting other people's workload or give different people group or service access to different systems. Now let's start installing the Hyper-V using the server manager. So I have this 2016 server and I've opened up the server manager dashboard and here uh, under the tab called configure this local server you can get the point number two as add roles and features. Just click on add roles and features. The page to add the roles will open up. Just click next on before you begin page. So now you, it will ask you to select the installation type. We will go by roles, role based or feature based installation. Click next. And here the option to select a server from the server pool. My, the server, my server is listed here. So I'll just select it. So my server is 2016 standard server with the IP and the name. So I'll just verify that this is the correct server and I'll just give me a next. So after giving the next, roles are available for me to select. So I'll select the Hyper-V role because I'm most interested in selecting the Hyper-V. So when I select this Hyper-V, it will, uh, a page will come up saying add features that require for Hyper-V. So this is just like a prerequisite for the Hyper-V. So I'll just click on add, add feature. So it will start installing the add feature. It will start adding up those features for the Hyper-V. And once it is done, I'll just hit the next button. So now the next button on hitting the next button, I'll just go by the, uh, if I want to select more things like uh, I can select it from select feature. Otherwise I can just give next and then move ahead. And now it will just ask me certain things. It will just give things to note that before you install this role, you should identify which network connection on the server you want to use, setting up the virtual switches. Are you installing Hyper-V? After you install Hyper-V, you, you can use Hyper-V manager to create and configure virtual machines and all those things. It will just give you the information. Or you can click on to more information about Hyper-V. It will navigate to another third party page of Microsoft and you can just see it. Just click next here. So now it will ask you to select the net network adapters linked to your virtual box. So for me, I have selected this network adapters and now I'll hit next again. And uh, I can just keep it as it is and just give next. And now it will ask me the default locations for my virtual hard disk. I'll keep it as it is and just give next. And now my Hyper-V is ready for installation. I'll just give install. So now the installation has begun. So it will add certain things like remote server administration tool, role administration tool, Hyper-V management tools, Hyper-V modules for Windows PowerShell, Hyper-V GUI management tools and all. So we will wait for some time for the installation to get complete. So the feature installation is actually going on for my server. So now I can see the status as the installation completed and the restart is, restart is pending for the server. You must restart the destination server to finish the installation. So I will just give close and then I will just restart the server and here you can see one more uh, column for Hyper-V has come up 
So this is my uh, Hyper-V server, hi all the Hyper-V details, and it's saying that it is online, but we started spending for this. So this way you can just install the Hyper-V role on your Windows server. And after the rest uh, restarting the server, uh, the machine will come up and it will ready to use. The Hyper-V is ready to use and we can create virtual machines out of it. Thank you.